So everything, all the offensive things we've said before this, yeah. never happened. Never yeah, happened. Never Snapped happened. And this, the, that, it started right there. And so they I was really happen. confused. <laughs> They're wondering what was said before that. They'll never know. And if you want to know, subscribe to our Patreon. No, they yeah. won't <laughs> even know if they do that. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. This is a very a special Thank edition of the podcast, as usual. We're going for the world record of world's largest podcast. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, I don't think this is anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> I look around and everybody's sunburned. I know, but that's Mine, what I'm really sunburned. Kevin's super toasted. I'm Nigel's a little I'm toasted. Thirsty. Do you think it's from the the sun the magma? The sun, <laughs> the magma cooked up. I think it was the, the magma suit I was wearing. That like aluminum suit just for like I felt like a baked potato. <laughs> Mm. Are we allowed oh, to yeah, say? Sorry. I mean, by the time this comes out, the no, you can say why. Be... You can say why. When will this come out? Um, <laughs> Anywhere tomorrow. between next week and four months from I mean... now. Oh. <laughs> for a second, for a second, I thought you were asking when your own video is coming. Oh out. yeah, well no, let's <laughs> let's talk about it. Yeah, no, I don't want to. We don't. We not spoil it. Yeah, just say yeah. we all did a video and no, probably two yeah. Weeks. Oh, well, the other option is just to wait That's to best release case scenario. this. Yeah. Just wait. To, we could talk a ton about it. Mark, we don't have enough podcasts have to do. Oh, my gosh. You guys are the worst. <laughs> you know, every, every time we go to like either okay. Mr. B's studio or, here, or your like, studio, I realize how like inept we, we actually are. <laughs> just like it's like everyone's got <laughs> their system. Yeah, They've yeah, got yeah, people yeah, helping yeah, them. Yeah, and then with us, it's that's it. It's us. There's no magic. Okay. There's nothing behind the scenes. It's actually just morons. happening at the same time. Yeah. Hey, you guys should be talking to We did. I guess this is why they don't do podcasts with six people. It works with four because you can do conversation conversation and we'll split it. I don't know how to handle three conversations at the same time. But it's actually four. I'm almost talking to myself. Yes, you're talking. I'm not listening to you. Does anybody have an internal monologue? Everybody has this big on too far. Does this podcast get Mix and surround sound. Yes. How are we going to add like the third? I was just <laughs> saying that because really? normally it's the I'm left and right yes. channel, but if there's three of them, then I don't know how they're going to okay. mix this. Uh, that was a, I could hear right. the disaster. <laughs> I, I was just asking myself over and over, have we taken this bit too far? Have we taken no. and we just kept no, talking? No, 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 no. All right, let's keep this, rolling. Here we if you <laughs> that's that is that's how literally how we do this is we always feel like we're doing a bad job and for whatever reason that works. That's amazing. It really just it's great for watch time because you have to go back and watch yes. it four or five times. We'll get spikes. That'll be like a three hundred percent retention. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Like it's the you know when we watch back the YouTube videos like most watch. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna go back. We do a <laughs> 3D what? video and we put one video on the side so you you can't actually <laughs> see what's happening anyways today's special guest no, is a stephanie a yeah <laughs> what yeah, this no. isn't a stephanie's house <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> that's bull well, she's a special guest I, yeah, yeah exactly guest. and our regular guest. guest is mark yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is my first and last time on but we'll call it we'll call it regular <laughs> So we just filmed a video with you. That's right. And um, I think this this video probably was more intensive and more expensive than like two to five, maybe every video actually I've ever made on my channel <laughs> combined. Mm, really? Is that true? Yeah. It was a full on like a TV production. Like there was like a, a crafty table. Like <laughs> yeah. When, when's the last time yeah. we yeah. fed ourselves? Yeah. When, we're when, making a video when I was eating the snacks, I was like, this is crazy i was like counting like, and I, was, I was no i was like eating the snacks and i was eating all the candies and i was like it's every time i put one Wait, of the, like the chocolate nigel what's in your pocket did you steal all my craft food nigel? he actually yeah. Yeah. i actually did take a pocket full of candy yeah. one time i was like i'm kind of hungry he just hands me a handful of starburst <laughs> like i've made it i'm rich but, nigel you realize you know like you could just buy candy and yeah. snacks for your lab no no but the, that, right? we, me me kevin and yeah will, but his employees would eat it no, no me, have it to himself. Me, kevin and will were talking about it we were like would we go and film everyone fends for themselves like if, if you because <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was yeah. saying i was like do you think mark's gonna have like a bathroom but and food there out there okay i want to talk about the bathroom mm. That the was really nice. The in your production yeah. are better than we had than what we had at Revenue Engineers. Like, oh really? Wait, the ones there today? Yeah, they were really yeah. nice. Yeah. So I feel like I need to speak on all of this now, which is like 
That's probably the most. That's the most TV ish I think of film I've ever done. Was really quick to be clear that was nothing compared to Mr. Beast. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, like it, it, it was embarrassing compared to yeah, Mr. Yeah. Beast. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, and we're below that. So <laughs> all them. Yeah, it's just like money, like strewn on the floor at the Mr. Beast compound. No one even picks yeah. it up because it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of candy, he just has money out. <laughs> 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 I didn't see any money on set. You yeah, it is. His bathroom. It's like an evolution, right? Where it's like, well, <laughs> yeah. honestly, Stephanie, because, you know, we do the TV show together. Like, that was an opportunity for me to see, like, and you got to oh. tell him about it. I don't think anybody knows about the TV <laughs> oh, yeah. show. Uh, uh, it's on Max. Uh, look up I don't know. Uh, Alan Pan's Revenge and Ears, and that should pop right up. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know what? You know what? I don't, Alan, He's I, dying. What's happening? <laughs> That's the name of the show on Max, formerly known as HBO Max. Alan, I mean this with the utmost sincerity, and you know I love you, but I forgot you were on the show. What? what? Did you, how did you just forget that? For a quick moment. Because I was so amazed. That was amazing. like a senior citizen yeah. moment, Mark. No, we were just talking about the How show. How old are you? How many months did you get? That was like three months of your life. Weren't you a pretty pivotal part? Yeah. You I mean, finally, got, you you finally got over Alan co-host. being in the show. Alan was the best part of the co-host. show. I haven't seen a single episode. <laughs> Yeah. My <laughs> face is right there under yours and the, the thumbnail yeah, that like, they have I on I know Max. you were on it, but when I was just talking about the show, I was like, you know, when it's Stephanie and I were on the show. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, when the show, we were, all three of us, <laughs> yes, definitely, collectively. were on together. It was just like, you see, oh, you can do this more efficiently and, like, have someone in charge of picking the porta potty And forget I, about them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I was as pleasantly surprised as you were today about the porta potty yeah. I didn't know that was going to be there, and it would be such a nice one. I mean, as a comparison, when we did Will's uh, How Many Parts Can You Take Off a Car, <laughs> there was no bathroom because it was going to cost too much money for us to access I think the it was bathroom. like $800. Yeah, wow. and so uh, we all pissed into empty Gatorade bottles <laughs> and threw them into the dumpster. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> that is that's, exactly that's what, I'm used to. what happened. <laughs> That's that's not even a joke. No, it's not. Like, no but it, it's funny because like it's it's so that's what I'm so used to. Not like that it's happened that many times, but it's like I kind of just assume. Like I was I was telling these guys, I'm like, do these guys have food in a bathroom? Like I I kind of just assumed there'd be no bathroom and no yeah. food. And you'd have mm. to think you'd have to plan ahead. Yeah, it's like and if get you don't your bring own. your food, you're just done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, but like, and also to be very clear, I mean, I I was one of those YouTubers. I mean, I guess like just. You guys and stuff where it's like it was me and a tripod doing yeah. everything for so long. I mean, that's how it was when we did the lemon video. Back yeah, yeah, team. yeah. That's right. And even a, a kind of crunch labs is kind of because that by necessity you have to hire people. And it's one of those things. I was talking with Kurz Gazette, so Philip, right? And he was kind of betting me on like how quickly it's one of those things that as you start hiring people, He's, you get not a dig to it, but it's like you realize, oh, I could just throw a body at this problem yeah. and it goes away. And so it's like that has happened with Crunch Labs. We just had to. And then it's kind of bled over into the YouTube channel a little bit. It's scary because it's like, you know, paying somebody is a lot of money. Like it's it, it's yeah. way more expensive than you realize. Like if you make my hair in my mouth, <laughs> you know, it, like like you end up paying somebody. It costs about like 20 percent more than you pay somebody. But pretty consistently, every time I have hired somebody, if I realize that like it, they pay for themselves. That's like, the thing. There's the fear of it costing That's money. Right. Like, I don't know if I can do this. This is really scary. But they end up making you more productive and it works and it like balances out. Yeah, you realize it's arbitrage. And mm. it's, by the way, it's not like if I pay someone a salary of, of you know, f- four that then I make five. Like a lot of times you pay mm. someone a salary of four units of whatever and mm. then you make back 30, you know, or a right. hundred, right? Right, because it enables you to do stuff that you were not doing before. That, but they're also good at a thing. Yeah. And yeah, like, they're doing something that you just weren't doing before that then can bring in more money or whatever. Right. Like, I think, for, like, hi- hiring an editor for me was a huge relief on myself. Like, it was just a burden that went away. And it was, like, it made, like, videos more enjoyable and easier to approach. And that was, like, even if I was losing money, yeah, it was worth it. Because it just made this, like, pain point go away that I was, like, getting really bad at. It was, like, having to, like, sift through footage. Yeah, And, like, totally. look at yourself, you know, and, like, you're like, oh, I did a bad job there. And then you just start to, like, degrade you a bit. Yeah, and I would say the caveat or the, I guess, the counterpoint to that, which is, like, 
I've also been super conservative with hiring and like where I only would hire people when I knew I had plenty of excess cash or whatever to pay right. for that. And I think that mistake a lot of people make sometimes, I think, you know, I think you guys haven't really is like the, their first six months of success. Suddenly they have a team of 10 people and they've mortgaged their house like that. I feel like never works out. Right. Mm, right like you right. have to kind of be like, don't spend money. You don't have get some success by freaking bootstrapping right it. because that's nice because you learn how to do all the things once you get some success then like backfill the team but like some people try to do the opposite right hire 10 people and assume then they're going to get views right and they never actually get good at anything yeah that's right care. and the views don't come and then they're super stressed because like each month they're barely making it right, right right yeah and i i don't know i i just i like doing certain things and i really don't like doing other things <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, nice. I, I refuse yeah. to I'm I, I just can't even this this is so spoiled of me, but I just refuse to like go through my own footage anymore. I just can't do it anymore. Dude, I, it's I bad. Can't, can't. It's bad for just, my mental health. Yeah, like like the, something and this that's why it sounds so stupid is something <laughs> about the act of dragging it from an SD card <laughs> yes. into a folder and then putting those individual files into like an Adobe Premiere project, I like just cannot well, do it anymore. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> you see yourself talking. Yeah, yeah. I know, but it, it's a, it has nothing to do with the it. effort of doing it. It sounds so stupid yeah, but, to say it out loud, but I just I can't even do. I that would anymore. rather go out and do ten times the number of chores <laughs> if I could just like film something and walk away from it and not have to look at it. Like I'd rather do ten times the work something somewhere else. Yeah. So yeah. after mm. you guys film, who ingests that footage? You have people who do it. Um, it depends, but like for all the second channel stuff or <laughs> the podcast, we just give it to somebody else. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just someone on the street, even it's yeah. not even the same they don't person care every who. time. So I'll just, just throw the SD card. Yeah. That's why, that's why it takes so long to come out sometimes is yeah. because someone's taken the money, but they didn't yeah. deliver. Or, a, yeah. Or like a, a bird, video a bird back. got the card. Yeah. And yeah. Like a magpie or whatever. Yeah. I want to say that what's funny <laughs> is that for me, you know, usually I, I, I'm the opposite of you guys and you, know, you like, like looking at your footage. No, 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 no. There's no way. Uh, I think the the difference. I'll tell you the big difference on the Nile Red channel. I do because I'm not in the footage, mm, right. so it's like just a cool mm. reaction. So it's like mm. I have fun dumping that from the SD card because in my head I'm like, oh, I collected cool footage. It's kind of like rewarding that yeah. I now have it on the computer. <laughs> But for the second channel, the blue channel, I should say stop saying second, the other channel, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Reggie goes through it. Mm -hmm. And it I feel your pain on that where I'm like, I don't want to see myself talking. How much yeah. do you guys do on the edits though then? So when at what point do you look at yourself, Alan? Actually, uh, as late as possible. Like how polished is it by the time you look at it? Oh no, I still I still look at like rough cuts and I still have to do like quite a, a bit of editing myself, but just like the organizing sure. of the footage yeah, and getting yeah, it yeah. laid out onto a timeline. Yeah, the initial yeah, yeah. slog. Yeah, yeah. I think That's I like to see I like to see a little bit of progress. Like there's something about like, oh, this yeah. isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna yeah. be. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, then yeah. I get more excited. Like like if we do like if we were to film like a skit. Where we like write out, you know, just like a one minute video. It's kind of like a joke in the one. I think I'd have a lot of fun with that. But there's something about sifting through like an hour of just, where like you know, maybe the story changes halfway through the video, and oh. then you have to kind of make yeah. sense of and, yep. everything like, in the timeline. It's not making sense no. in the timeline. It's too complicated ah! of a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. For me, I realized because Reggie would edit the bl the blue videos pretty far. Like there'd, there'd be a rough draft, and he would get frustrated because it'd be like two weeks, and I would never watch it. And for a long time, I'm like, why? Like, I have, I would do what Kevin does. It's like suddenly have all these other important things to do. Yes. Oh, I got to like fix this machine. Yeah. Yes. But I realized. I love doing chores when I have to make a video. So I'll but clean the, the garage. Productive procrastination is like. like I realized though the big reason was because I was afraid I would see something I couldn't fix. I was like, I will watch it, not like it and not know how to fix it. And I just would be like, I spent all that. I don't know. It's like yeah. it presented this like fear. I think that is such a common thing. So like even with me, well, first of all, the ingesting media thing, I, that's something I should have started not doing earlier. I've, I, it's, I've maybe for the past year, I haven't done it, but up to that point, I was year. always yeah. doing it myself. You mean like physically taking the SD card, physically and taking it and loading that's the best it, part. Oh, no. and making the proxies and all that? Oh yeah. But I think oh, yeah. what oh, is I don't need, I do not. I'd rather shoot in with a potato camera than have to deal with any of that. Yeah, yeah. I, it just goes faster, kind of even if it's only 1080p footage. Card, proxies yeah. just CPU. But I would say like 
I think that's such a common thing. And I have that too every month where it's like, I, even when I know I have banger footage and I know I've got a, a great story, I just have to sit down and write it and start the edit. I will just find anything, yeah. literally anything to do to procrastinate doing that. And by the way, once I start doing it, I, I love it and I yeah. enjoy it. And I'm yeah. like, oh, this is so great. Like, why did I put this off for five days, right? It's like, right I don't want to go into bed and I don't want to get out of sure. bed. Yeah. <laughs> You're stuck. Once you start yeah. it, you yeah. can't yeah. stop. Amateur. <laughs> no, but it, well, Try well, a year. I'm on a year. I'm on a year. I'm on a year. I'm on a year. Like a, a two weeks, three weeks now. On, no. w- on what video? Let's help you get through this. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> you, already, Mark, wait, Mark, you, know, you already filmed it? I mean, what you don't, what you don't realize no. is Kevin being here is part of that procrastination. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Me true. being here is procrastination. <laughs> him, and, him and Will. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, no, because Alan... I is, filmed the video <laughs> while I was here. I don't know if it's good or not yet, but... No, it's, it's that not, means it's good. It's if you not, think it's oh, bad, that sorry. means it's good. <laughs> well, I, I, unfortunately, Mark had a really good suggestion at dinner, and I know I have to do it now. You so have yeah. to. Yeah. It is, he's tomorrow, right. So and yeah, unfortunately, yeah. involves pain. That's the thing with, with <laughs> Mr. Beast, with Jimmy. It's like he can either... And he can either throw a bunch of money at these videos like or like do something really crazy mm. or he just has to endure pain. And like either oh, yeah. both will get a lot of views. He laments, uh, oh, you no. know, yeah. like he just they just recently did like this raft one where they were like, but it's like oh, yeah. it's the suffering of seven days. He can either throw a lot of money or suffer incredibly yeah. a lot. So that's what you're going to. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's it's a it's a gun that shoots bees. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, Is that a normal gun? it's well, it's it's like it's more like a like a leaf blower with bees that kind of. <laughs> yeah, that kind of gets. No, sucked they into were the, flying out. <laughs> But the, the neither of us got stung. No, is we took turns shooting each I other. And we even tried to yeah. shoot Mark. Yeah, Nobody got stung. True. I really would have gone out of my way to not get stung. Yeah. So I mean, the issue though is that like I I should probably. How bad make is sure it? I, I don't know. I mean, we did the, the plants. Do I think I don't think I do. I hate wasps. I hate it too. I don't yeah. have any control of it. They it just it's just like it hurts so bad. You you just yell. You know. Does it hurt worse than a bee? Yes. Only one way to find Wait, out, what, Alan fan. What if I got stung by a wasp? Uh, I, I I grabbed like you know the stop signs how they have the holes in them. Like I grabbed one of those as I was like just waiting for the light to turn. No way. And it was it was a wasp nest in no there, way. and it got me right in the hand. Oh, and hands like, bad though. I like, would I would take it like yeah. here maybe, and like my, my arm, butt cheeks. Like, Does so it make bad. me swell? Could it make my butt really big? Oh, oh yeah, it, it, it felt like somebody put a, a nail make, <laughs> through my hand. Would that work on other parts no. of our body? Yes. Oh, could we make other parts of our body bigger? By like our like our wasps? tongue, like yeah, our or ears, our ears. Our yeah, ears. Our nose, big nose, tooth, eyes, eyes. Tooth? <laughs> big eyes, our balls. You know, do you know the book Holes? Do you ever you know the book? Oh, with the Stanley yet now. Yeah, and they're digging mm-hmm. for yeah. the, the treasure or whatever. Do you remember like the, the evil lady at camp? She would put rattlesnake venom on her her fingernails and she would scratch people with them. Oh, oh that's right. And I remember yeah. like I think it made his face swell up when she scratched it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You could like wait, is that what, what would actually happen or would you just yeah. die? I feel like you would just die if someone did that to you. Well, you try with bees. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Lip fillers. Yeah. Lip so fillers. yeah, I I realized as soon as Mark Rober said it that he was actually right about that. You I have should, to. I probably have to get stung. And on, now that Kevin brings it up, I would love to for you to do a bee sting on one arm because this could be part of like how <laughs> and you then a wasp sting on another, yeah, this and is then a scorpion sting on a leg, yeah, and then this, a snake bite on the right. other leg. You just sound like, just sound like Coyote a Peterson up, up my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then a kiss on your lips from me. <laughs> the most the worst. That's the worst yeah. of all. But I feel like bee versus wasp is like a very, which do you think would sting more? Like I probably would have thought bee, but you said wasp. No, I would say wasp. I don't know a why I feel that way. A bee's going to die though. I can't get a bee to sting me without killing it. No, there's. You can find a dead bee. There's a lot of dead bees. Just wait. If you sting yourself, they don't die every so time. So if you take a sting N- necrobeef, yeah. bee, you can <laughs> force it to sting. It will. Yeah. One time I found a, like a bumblebee, yeah. and it was and dead. I think it like it fired. Yeah. And I oh. picked, picked it up and I'm like, hey, look, it's dead. And I saw the stinger shoot out into my finger, <laughs> like fingertip. I was like ten years That's old. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Kevin's intrusive thoughts get him into a lot of trouble, <laughs> 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 like, including. Today, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> including today, Mark. I just want to tell you what my video is about. Yeah, uh, it's about bear traps. Oh, and, and I hope you don't say I need to 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to try it. Have I got a piece of advice for you? Oh, yeah. You've got to try it on me. That's what I, he's going to say. I, I, <laughs> yeah, you want to trade? Like, I'll do the beast things, dude, any day. <laughs> I do like the idea, though. Like, yeah, Mark Rowe were giving great advice, but then when the creators get together to talk about it, it's always just like, I'm advising you to hurt yourself. <laughs> like, that's my advice to all the creators. So, Mark, what do I do? Yeah, what, what are you working on, Stephanie? Your microwave? <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> World's <laughs> largest <laughs> microwave, <Yeah>. Stephanie. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Imagine it's like a sauna. You just get in and close the door. Yeah. yeah. If, you put, if you put your hand in, it'll just feel warm, right? I mean, if no. you've done it, right? This is a great it, question. My, it, you, it's no, you super were playing with a microwave without it. Without parts the door. Parts of your hand. Yeah, I actually yeah. can't. I have the perfect uh, thing to test it with. What? <laughs> a microwave. But, but like I have a lab one. You can adjust the wattage. It it will it will what it, it like creates oh, hot spots right. in the object, which yeah, is why the table is there. And so you'll end up with parts of it hot and parts of it oh, well, cold. Mine doesn't which is create, why you have to like mine doesn't create hot spots. Stuff. So what what'll happen is perhaps like work? chunks of your hand will be no dead and right. cooked. Real quick, yeah, nice. like really. So you'll have like really. I don't know. That would probably feel really bad. Is my no. Guess. Mine doesn't make hot spots. And you can adjust the wattage low. Yeah, but that's like the physical phenomenon. Yeah, it's like no, no, there's two different actual wavelengths. There's two different microwaves. ways they make the microwaves. So like commercial microwaves, if you go to like Subway and stuff, you notice that they don't have a platter. Yeah. And it's because I think it was the normal microwave, there's two ways to do it. Mm. The 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 microwaves come out, yeah. whatever right. the microwave maker. Yeah, yeah. The magnetron. magnetron. <laughs> yeah. Megatron. I said it at the same no. time as you. There's AKA a, the microwave maker. There's yeah. a Megatron. wave guide, and that's what directs so the microwave. There's two two ways to make the microwave. The cheapest way is to just have the magnetron just blast it into a cavity. Yeah. And then you spin the food because you're gonna make the standing wave. You can instead though, there is a way to diffuse and send a random array. I've seen Yes, it's like they put like a fan oh. system, so it's like you, it creates a random array in the box. So, so the fan, it, the fan's not to like blow something; it's to like randomly. I think it like shoot scatters it or something. Wow. Of, like there's like different scattering methods, which makes it so that you don't have to have a tourney oh, plate. That's cool. And then mine, you can turn the wattage down as well. So what happens if you put like the do the cheese or marshmallow experiment, right? Because like the classic experiment is. We, did, we rigged a microwave to open uh, to run open one time, and we put a thermal <laughs> camera in there and stuck a bunch of craft singles, like nine craft singles in a grid, and you can see the melting spots. Oh, yeah, spots. yeah, yeah. So, like, what would you see in that experiment? Would it, would it have spots, or would it... Because it would have to have... I feel like it would still have hot. some hot spots. I feel like it would have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was, uh, a, that was a really old video of mine, was the <laughs> infrared microwave as, like, a good... But uh, I was gonna make. A, I I think I even got it, like patented or something, and like really? Kenmore reached out. Yeah, because if you think about microwaves, like we, you know, we're so visual. Like, why not have an infrared camera in your microwave to know when your food's done? Right, right, right. And then it's like you see your soup. You see when it's done. Don't like, they? Have you? Do you watch Technology Connections? Have you seen any of his videos? I don't ask me these things because now technology questions watching no. this and, and he or she is going to be really sad when I say no. I like that. I like that. Yes. Don't he, or he or she. Don't ask me. He or she. Say yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but then he asked the follow up question. It's like, what's your favorite video? No, you have to dodge. Seen that one. Yeah. You, you okay. just dodge yes. every specific thing. Yes, I have I've seen got all it. of them. Let's, out. Like a Let's all try gone. it. Okay, yes. Yeah. I love <laughs> their videos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's one of the videos uh -huh. is about, about how oh, no. some of the some <laughs> microwaves will actually automatically cook, and they measure the steam coming out of it. Yes. Oh, is that so how that works? There's a table I mean, inside oh, yeah. where it knows how long to hold the microwave power on something, mm -hmm. and then I think it counts or kind of calculates based off the steam coming out. Mm. Part part of the patent I had in there was also, and this feels like such an obvious thing, is a little uh, to measure the noise levels with popcorn popping mm. and then when it gets between one to two seconds like it says yeah. on all the things you stop the freaking popcorn yeah. that feels like such an easy thing to just measure the decibel level but yeah. like you know all microwaves are made by the same company they're not going to add all these sensors well so this is what i found out when i did it and then like we talked to some folks at kenmore is that like the microwave decision it's like such a commodity it's such a bottom of the barrel and most people just want a cruddy microwave mm. oh, yeah. And so it's like 2% of the microwaves are sold for over $40. So any little extra oh. sensor is like already like hmm. pointless. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes a lot of I sense. I think the other yeah. thing about microwaves is that like the microwave I have, like I said, you can adjust the power. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure on most microwaves, when you do like lower power setting, 
it just turns the microwave mm -hmm. on and off. Yes. Yeah, it like yeah, duty yeah. cycles it, like yeah. 20 second intervals. Too. Yeah. So the, it's the like power level yeah. one, it just turns off and you think it's for 20 <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah. So I guess the, the thing you really want to do is to make like an even worse microwave. You don't want to make a better microwave. So what if you made something that was like literally just the magnetron and then a box that's about the size of like an apple. There's no tray, there's no timer. It's just yeah. got a switch and you have to just do it yourself. Like you turn it on and you have to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> that's dangerous but you could probably make that for like 10 bucks the world's <laughs> cheapest microwave it's just like a box with a magnetron and you have to shake your yeah <laughs> but you know what people would probably if you had that for like 15 dollars someone's probably gonna buy that and like they're gonna As know a crank, what they get you have to yeah. crank it at that point you just have like a blowtorch <laughs> just blowtorch your food you're, i guess you could do a box that's kind of like expandable like it's not even like solid metal Oh god! It's like a foil, <laughs> like a <laughs> mylar. Like yeah. Yeah, could you things. do a metal mesh that as long as the holes were small, yeah. like the wavelength you of the microwave? Open, you open the cage <laughs> and put your, it's just a bag. It's a mesh copper bag. <laughs> they could be. I think the wavelength. Put it it's right like a, around a popcorn bag. <laughs> I think it's like a centimeter. Well, it's right. literally what's it's on the front of your. Oh yeah, it gets bigger than that. But like that yeah. mesh on your microwave on the front yeah. is a, such a size that the microwaves can't. Yeah, you it's, should it's know. Like, it's like wait, I uh, use you your video it. to to know how big the hole should be for my my I mean, my camera. I I, 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 I use your video. Well, yeah, yeah. I think it. I think it is theoretically like multiples of centimeters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's the one centimeter hole. Yeah, you know, the camera doesn't like. The video doesn't get messed up, so I, I mean, mm. must be works. good enough. Sometimes, though, it is weird. Like, if you put aluminum foil in the microwave, I don't know if you tried yes. that. It does mess the camera up. Oh, mm. not with the camera. Oh, when plasma forms, uh -huh. the camera starts, like, glitching and going oh. weird. It's creating some Maybe sort it's of making... secondary waves. Oh. Or something. No, like mm. smaller particles. I don't know. That's cool. Mm. X-rays. Or just, like, magnets. How do they work? How do magnets that. work? Yeah, how no do one, they work? No one knows. <laughs> I only know how to make them. <laughs> how do you... <laughs> Wait, so you actually know how magnets work? I have no idea how they work. He's I'm gonna trying to that... make them, not explain them. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Like, actually, though. I like your video where you uh, you you took a store-bought magnet and you, like, demagnetized it, and then you put it in the remagnetizer, and it was somehow stronger. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That was <laughs> cool. I did see that video. You did? Yeah. Or are you just like... No, that one I really do. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you go on YouTube at all? No, you're never going to know. Well, you got uh, I don't... I don't I don't watch much YouTube. What do you know. watch? TikTok. You watch TikTok? Oh, really? No. The thing, no, no, no. I would say Reddit. Snapchat. Oh. I, but first, uh, I'll, I'd probably say like 20, 30 minutes a day I'll waste on the dumb apps. Hinge. That's impressive. And it's not... But it's oh, not like, YouTube. He's fit. He's mm. handsome. He only spends thirty minutes a day <laughs> procrastinating. Mark, Mark, you make you also you make a lot of money, <laughs> right? Kevin's like, am I, am I, I right? mean to ask this? Can <laughs> I have some? Yeah. No, 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 no. Thanks, no, thanks no. for no. waiting to ask this. So we're on the public <laughs> podcast, Kevin. I'm, I'm just gonna assume you you, you make have more money than you need, right? Yeah. I mean, could we have some of That's it? That's a yeah. great way to start a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, set it up. I'll hear you out. <laughs> um. You make a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Agree or okay. disagree? Sure. Time. I mean, relative to uh, other people. Okay. <laughs> relative to your old job. job. Are, yeah. are you happy? <laughs> yeah. So. Fuck the yeah. God. What, what the fuck serious? are you just coming what from? What is serious? Kevin, what the fuck are you doing right now? <laughs> I like it. Man, Mark's got everything going on. <laughs> I can't. I can't have one win. He's handsome. Yeah. No. He makes a lot of money. I know. He's What's the handsome again? He's not completely. He's happy. Yeah. I don't even know what. You're yeah. Doing. Oh well. Do you have a six pack. What's the quote? Can we see it? It's can like we see your six pack? Sure. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we touch it? <laughs> I think. What's the quote about? It's like yeah. I, they say, yeah, money doesn't buy happiness, but you never see someone frowning on a jet ski. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, uh, yeah, wow. I think. Uh, no, I will say this. I know on that. you got that one wrong because it's something like you never see, uh, like so, in a yeah. bus, not a jet ski. No, it's a jet ski. No, it's a jet ski. Like, no, it's a jet ski. Something about yeah. a bus. Yeah. You never oh, see someone anyways. frowning on a jet ski. Yeah. yeah. You see a lot of them smile on a bus. Yeah. I guess yeah. I'm too poor. <laughs> I've never seen that. Uh, I think I, I I definitely like, yeah, my relationship with money in the sense like it, to me, it seems painfully obvious that buying a Ferrari 
and like, you know, YouTubers come into money or whatever. They go and buy like things or a big house. Like I rent this place mm. and it's like a three bedroom freaking whatever this is. It's like, it's so it's obvious. It's really nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but, but like, I, this is not, a, this wait, is like a, a, a house. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I rent a house too. And I had it's a less little nice help. Than this. Okay. From a friend. <laughs> You've not nearly talented much enough to decorate this it. Because I told Kevin, I'm like, I like the decor. <laughs> Let's not get into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, well, and I, it's like a picture, when you see people just go out and just buy these things or like yeah. four homes, it's like so obvious to me that you will regret that. And I feel like a hundred percent of the time, when eventually they come around and they do regret it. Mm. And so it's like, you know, there's this, there's this, what is another really interesting thing is like, you've heard the thing. There's a different twist on the thing you've heard a lot, which is like, you ask people who have $50,000, they've done this. How much, how much would you need to be happy? Truly happy. And they say like a hundred thousand dollars. If my inner salary was a hundred thousand dollars, my problems would go away. I'd be really happy. Right. But then they ask the people who make a hundred thousand dollars currently, what would you need to be happy? And the number they say is $250,000, which is incredibly profound because it's like the closer you get to the thing, the further it gets mm. from you, right? So yeah, at first it's more, only double, yeah. it's only 50 to 100. Mm. When you get to 100, it's now 250. And this is why you see guys who are a billionaires who need, feel like they need to make 200 billion yeah. to be no. worth anything. Well, no, like it's like gotta, it's a score. Gotta, how how yeah, else like, do you end up with two hundred billion dollars? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you it's gotta like, gamble. Why, literally, you that. stop. If you, you go on vacation <laughs> and you never, you never look Listen, back. If you I gamble on like a meme stock or a shit dollars, coin, you'll happy. ten x your money, and then you'll be happy because it's more than twice what you're right. having. Yeah, if you ten right. x, then you'll be happy. Then you'll right. be happy. Exactly. That's yeah. how you have to do it. So, so Mark, <laughs> Mark, you make a lot I mean, of money. Yeah. <laughs> how do you deal with taxes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a fan of the podcast. <laughs> Wait, no, we're not allowed to talk about taxes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's like one of our hard uh, no, 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 no. Now that we're on the topic. Well, you see, oh, okay. the, the, I have an LLC that's taxed like an S-corp. You see, oh, it's no. characterized uh, differently yeah. than a single member. Uh, and there, there's there's numerous benefits to doing that. Yeah, but Please, elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mark, you have a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just start every question yeah. with that tonight. <laughs> I was just, I just, I was just joking. Me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all are. I just want to be, uh, I just want to have a lot of money, and then maybe I'll be happy. Yeah. Is it about twice as much money as you're making right now? <laughs> you just, I would say probably, I'm, yeah, maybe you, at the, two you're at the two and a half mark? Yeah, maybe two and a half. You just yeah, have to money you make. <laughs> nice. No, but speaking about, uh, about money again, <laughs> um, I, I really like the video where you also use a thermal camera to, to find out, like, how people can like steal somebody's <laughs> pin card. Oh yeah, yeah, the pin code. That's yeah. old school. Nice. Way that to go was deep. A, like, I think Target. I don't know how you convinced them to let you do that. I didn't, of course. <laughs> what uh, do you mean? Really? I got kicked out of Target like three times. You get kicked out. And it was with Michael a lot. every time. Yeah, but what are you filming? If you film on a phone, they, they have no idea. Uh, well, we, he was driving the Roomba around inside yeah. the Target. Yeah. Well, that's the difference. <laughs> and then he took it. To, he tried to return it. <laughs> <laughs> it was saying it was just saying fuck to the return lady. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Th that is the nice thing. And then the about other time we tried to set up a microwave in front of it and we like ran an extension card inside. I saw like, inside? And I saw they kicked us out in like one. four minutes. Well didn't the employee come out? And yeah. Just like you can't you just And then can't. he went we had to he bought a like a thousand watt inverter and like two car batteries and we went to the park and ran the microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> How long would a microwave run off car batteries? Oh, a while. I mean, a like a thousand watts, and a <coughs> microwave is like a thousand watts, watt and hour, 100 amp hours, 100 amp hours, oh, 12 no. volts. What's that? 1200 watt hours, like an hour. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Theoretically. Yeah, I mean, I you could know. microwave a couple hot pockets. Yeah, 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 you could have a mobile microwave. That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah no, we have the whole setup too. The low power. Oh, you're you're. Yeah. Are you still? Are you talking about yeah. the, the, the the world's cheapest microwave? That's on car just a, a magnetron and a mesh you bag attached to it. Yeah, you can. That's good. Right car car. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, you make a lot of money, yeah. right? This is a, but that's right. there's one thing money can't buy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you're about it's to that, say, he's gonna be able to buy it. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's your stupid Hurley hat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was wrong. No, this is true. How dare you? Why? I don't know. By the way, that, that hat 
This isn't even the one. The one you got me, it I didn't I don't like it. I went through it's all the that. It's the same one though. I know, but I guess I just changed my taste. I oh. I went through all that and then I was like, "Oh, I don't even like this." But what happened? I don't know. I don't I don't know. So Mark has this hat. It's funny too cuz I don't think anybody would be able to pinpoint this. But <laughs> Mark know. has this hat that he always wears. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Is it the, the Hurley the one? The Hurley that's it's, it's on his head right now. It, 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 front. The first two panels It's are different. Gray. Yeah. So it's a Hurley hat. It was like a gray one that had yeah. a little square that was like right here it's in like the, the Hurley logo. Yeah, and yeah. It's like got like air holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that right. One at Revenge in years. No, you didn't. That I trust me, same. you didn't. That was yeah, not the original. It wasn't the original. So I had you gave us fake hats. You, you, you tweeted. Mark, you make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you tweeted out or something that you were like looking for the hat. Oh, I did. And you're like, does anybody have this hat? And, and that's you, when you found it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, no, they I just don't had. make it anymore. Oh, you yeah. already had it. I already yeah. had it. And did anybody respond? No. no. I, I scoured the internet. It's not, it doesn't exist anymore. Wait, just, it just, it's just not made. It's yeah. not made. It's, it's a normal yeah. hat. It's like a total, like what? Like a $30, $40 yeah. hat. Like a yeah. totally normal hat. And I had bought one. Yeah. Because I was like a long time ago going to do it, like a, the deep fake yeah. Mark, Ro Ro Mark <laughs> Rober video. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How do I take advantage of having one of these? Wow. <laughs> like gonna, a true friend. I was, I was gonna list it on eBay for like twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> I would have bought it. Are you actually would have? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't. Imagine, I probably imagine he did see it though, just browsing. He's like, "There's no way." Who would? Who would <laughs> yeah. Who would? <laughs> but we all have like an OCD part of our personalities. I feel like maybe it's just me. No. But like that one specifically, I I'm not. I'm just embarrassing to admit. I've never admitted this publicly, but like Hurley had reached out or something because I always wear it, and I was like. We I had we reached out to them to see if they could remanufacture that. Like, what would it cost to make a run? You know what? I, uh. I can't believe you didn't even try to go down like the custom route of just making a, a forgery of it for yourself. I did. I at my merch company tried for like a year. No. Wow. Never wow. up to your standard. Wow. Exactly. Monkeys, well, you're kind of getting, getting a sense of how even close. Who looks at not the, really. The dollar bills like they can spot all the small. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't even up to my standards. It wasn't even close. Mm. So money can not buy you your hat. Yeah, I would wow. have to like. Well, I mean, at some point, I could like buy the Hurley factory. <laughs> Unless we'll. I don't think. I don't think. I don't. I definitely think you can't do that. <laughs> you should just buy Hurley. Anyway, so Will, the rest of the story is like I kept saying, "Will, oh, good one, you have it. That's amazing. I'm so glad. Hey, buddy, send it up to me, right? I'll give you a hundred bucks, whatever. Ha ha. And like, it got weird. Where like he wouldn't you, do I, it. I didn't. It I, didn't really I didn't know. Weird. I didn't know where it was. First of all, I ended up finding it. No, um, and no. then I, to finish the story, I'm gonna cut you off. I eventually <laughs> sent him a box. Prepaid. No, yeah. I, 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 want, I want to comment. That's where you you sent me <laughs> yeah. a Crunch Lab box, and I was like, "Cool." He sent me a Crunch Lab <laughs> kit, Finally. and then I'll take the kit out and I'll put the hat inside. And then I opened the box, it's empty. and there's it was empty. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Do you know who has sent me free stuff before I've received any Crunch Labs anything? Who? Logan Paul's marketing team sent what? me a case of Prime, really Prime Hydration How? and Energy and the Hydration Powder, and mm. I'm talking about it. It because they said they didn't even can no, we talk about no how it tastes attached. like absolute dog it shit? tastes really bad but you know what <laughs> sometimes kind of nice in the you morning know that it one of the jokes bad with the, one of the jokes we talked pain. about for the vending machine we pay with pain is there's one free drink and it's fucking prime because it tastes so bad <laughs> yeah that's no funny. strings attached no questions they just sent it Wow. Yeah. Are you guys on Jimmy's list for that stuff? Like feastables and junk? No. 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 I should get you on I feel it. Like he sends a lot. Hmm. Oh, you get that? Do you send him Crunch Labs? Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Actually, I did. Well, he came out and I uh he asked for it cuz him and the yeah, his girlfriend do them together. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's the smart one. Yeah. <laughs> she's like a PhD student. Yeah, that's right. Just yeah. think of the cool things we could make though if you could give us the opportunity with Crunch Labs. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm going to And by the, the way. opportunity of sure. money. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to address this. Give me like six months. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. There's like something coming down the pipeline. It'll, it'll, there's something. Better be at least a Prime Energy. New, the Crunch yeah. Labs bomb. <laughs> Wait, the Crunch Labs <laughs> bee gun. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> how, how many of the boxes are like, like, because it's hard to come up with really good ideas. And I was looking at the kits and honestly, they're pretty good. <laughs> mm. I know. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's credit. Like. At this point, we have like nine product designers, which is like, bonkers. I feel like I would probably do like that would be a job I would like to do if I wasn't doing YouTube because my brain is very like kind of 
like I can spend a couple of months doing something. Yeah. And then after that, like, I don't want to work on this anymore. Totally. And like, we give them, it's like two months per box. And like the people we're getting now are like, I mean, they're like the last three grads are like Princeton, yeah. MIT and like Columbia. So these are like bright minds who just like love this. It's a specific type of design too, like toy yeah. design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, especially having worked at NASA and Apple, where like those are two companies where you, you could throw a lot of money at a problem to fix it. But with toys, it's like very clever because you're yeah. so over constrained. And so to get something to work and to move with like yeah. limited resources, yeah. it's like a totally different type of brilliance, it's right? Like easy to assemble, mm -hmm. easy to manufacture, like inexpensive to manufacture because you're trying to sell it as, you know, yeah. like a kid's toy. Like you, right. parents, it's hard to, you know, how many $100 kids' toys are there? That, yeah. Like, you just don't buy that That's right. that frequently. Yeah. And then also making it fun. Super fun. To assemble and then yeah. fun to play with. Yeah. And then also exploring ideas. Like, that's hard. It's like, really hard to do. One of the ones I went to show you guys, but now that we're not there, I can't. Uh, but it's like, uh, there's a squirt gun. So the super soaker isn't, isn't sold anymore, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, we made a super soaker where it's like, you could pump it up with a syringe. So mm -hmm. it builds up the pressure. Yeah. But, but this is like such an easy twist of the toy, which is that at the top, there's a little valve. So you spray your brother, your whoever with it. And when you hand it over, you, you discreetly turn the valve. Mm. And then they go to spray you, and now it shoots backwards. Mm. Oh, okay, that's Isn't cool. that so yeah. simple yeah. and amazing yeah. and delightful? And, like, yeah. I remember being a kid that age, and, like, a practical joke like that, I just would live for that, right? It's, like, the next step. It's, like, a cool toy and then, like, a little extra thing on top just of it. Just a little extra. And, like, eventually we'll probably do – we have, like, a roadmap of all these, like, things that we want to do. And one of them is – we, we're pushing it off, but like eventually we'll do retail, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know if I should say this publicly because it's like <laughs> roadmap stuff, but I don't care, whatever. Yeah. But whatever we do, it's like going to have that extra element. There's always yeah. be like, it won't be a normal toy you've seen before. There's there's always has to be a little extra twist. I bought a bunch of toys a few years ago when we were doing the automatic chopsticks. I like went through this whole thing with it. Mm, yeah. And I ju it just, you know, I, like you look at some of the, the other stuff people do and I'm like, yeah. unless you're really doing a whole thing it's like it just ends up costing more money than it would ever yeah. make um but i bought a bunch of kits from target to try to kind of gauge like you know what what do you get like right what's the experience like because i haven't really done something yeah. like that since i was younger and a lot of them were like just bad dog food like yeah. really bad yeah. and you open it like first of all it's not exciting it's like i think one of the cooler ones i can remember was like like a suction gecko that like would climb up a wall it's like no, suction cups yeah. and it was just sort of like really kind of like complicated clunky lego where like half the stuff was pre-built yeah and yeah. so it's like half of it was like already a mechanism and a gearbox yeah. in a thing and then you just sort of snap it together and yeah. you kind of like it almost feels like you assembled the toy for the factory yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. passing the same things like, on to you exactly yeah it's like the ikea thing <laughs> and, I, and i think like going like you know you guys are it's completely broken down mm -hmm. to like the individual components like there's really nothing more complicated than the thing you actually built right yeah, and then it just coming with like a video that teaches the physics and it's just like the ties in with the YouTube stuff and you know, sometimes even those videos I'm probably stealing clips from your guys' videos, so thank you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> probably should ask permission. You're welcome. <laughs> you make a lot of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> you make a lot of money. But it's just like making it relevant for the kids to get them yeah. stoked and like I think we all are participate in, in, in some aspect, but it's like I don't expect someone to remember something from my videos like an mm -hmm. actual science mm -hmm. thing, but you, what they remember is the feeling they had yeah. and getting them addicted to that, that aha moment of like, whoa, that was cool. I didn't know a thing. And now I know about microwaves and how I can demagnetize yeah. and magnetize. Right. Or shoot bees out of a gun. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad example. <laughs> no, I well, think kids would be really into that. I, I, will, I will argue that yeah. I was thinking about this today when I saw you do that. <laughs> that is true ingenuity. No, yeah. I don't think anyone like, you know, I, I, I do things that's like building other stuff. I've never seen anyone try to shoot insects it's out of a, it's like I think because gun. it didn't work very it, well <laughs> yeah, like it worked great what are you talking but, about but alan you you've created the concept now everyone else needs to build on it so what is your what is your <laughs> favorite kit or like what which ones did you like how many of them did you come up with how many are like the team coming up with no it's totally a team effort like so you guys are brainstorming sessions? yeah then like which is like my, the most fun that's what i i've always loved even working at you know at nasa at when i when i was in industry the brainstorm sessions are the mm. most fun. And so once a week or maybe once every two weeks, it's like, here's all the recent ideas. Everyone kind of pitches. We build on them together. And it's like, okay, go ahead. Let's let's go down that path. 
And of course the devil's in the details. These guys are brilliant. That's where mm. they solve the details. But like overall, any of the things you've seen, like I've been a major part of like coming up with the brainstorm and like building on, uh, but, but like, but the true, the true, it's all about execution. And those guys, you know, and girls are the ones at the trenches, like really executing on them. Yeah. But it was just great. I get to do the fun part of just like the high level brainstorm, which I love. Why didn't you use my idea of the trained octopus bikini where the octopus would try and camouflage itself and make a natural mosaic? <laughs> so it looks like you're censored, but it's an octopus on your private parts. I have a crunch up kit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone Feels would come with a trained specific, octopus. Alan. And, 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 and when you're done, I'm, a snack. <laughs> <laughs> a delicious I, snack. I gave you that idea idea like uh, two months ago Did a month you? ago okay. and i i haven't seen it I'm it just takes wondering. a while to turn these around now <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, we're working on it i kind of want to give you like uh, video pitches and you have to pick one okay that'll be fun because you're, you're you've got like a very clean brand yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, how Stop. about, uh, all right, we're going to give Mark video pitches. But this all is right. for Shark my Tank. channel? or Yeah, you you like you wow. have to choose okay. Shark one Tank, Shark or, Tank. Okay, this is Shark die. Tank. This is Shark um, Tank Mark for my Tank. videos. <laughs> Mark Tank. Everyone has to give me one, and then I pick the one I think is the best. Okay. Oh, oh, no, I'm not ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm not ready. What? I have no time. We get two. Two people, what? and then you have to choose of the two which one you do, and we'll do that a couple of times. Okay, okay. I can't think of anything. Give it a sec. We'll get the party started. Um, we well, just got Alan's, I think. So whoever's going up against his, I pick that one. <laughs> I've, I've uh, had one for a while, so it might not be fair. Okay. Do it. Do okay. it. Okay. I'm going to give this one to you, Mark. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, it's it's uh, it's a suspicious looking package on the side of the road, okay. and the police show up with a bomb diffusing robot because yeah. they want to check out the package. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> I, I okay. Like this. And out comes the Mark Rover Crunch Labs Battle Bot, and it flips the police <laughs> robot, and they duel it out right there on the streets. Oh, I love that. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. The police think it's a bomb, but it's yeah. actually a battle bot to battle the yeah, bomb yeah. Bot <laughs> robot. <laughs> oh, it's a spinner. <laughs> Okay, so that's, that's like a good prank, hot, huh? right? Dude, that's I lo oh, let me hear the alternative one. I need two. Um But yeah, that's a that's a ha tall hill to climb right there. That's a good one. We should have written some down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, do you have do you have open it? Do you have ChatGPT on your phone? Okay. Uh all right. How about uh it's 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 a car, mm -hmm. it's got a catalytic converter, mm -hmm. but when you reach for it. It chops your hand off with a bear trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Or That's... or Wait, like the a octopus idea thing. or a glitter bomb, but it's a real bomb. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely the bomb. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love. I think uh, Kevin's. Of I'm just looping that one. No, in. no. You got to pick between the octopus and the glitter bomb, but it's a real bomb. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Mark Tank. <laughs> Mark yeah. Tank. I mean. <laughs> The octopus idea. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we sold the octopus wow. idea. All right, I'll 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 give it to you for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> for the record, I already said the bomb, and you didn't accept that. And you said really, <laughs> and you made me choose the other yes. one. Yes, part of the deal, baby. I'll give you half. Will it's yeah. Shark Tank, not Mark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay wait, wait. Um. Jesus, how are we yeah. so bad at this? Uh, oh, oh, what about? Yeah. Uh, okay, Alan, uh, your idea crap, involved crap. a bikini and octopus, and for that, no, you, you, I'm you, out. <laughs> I don't know what that idea is. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, says, wow, world's largest pool of oobleck. Uh, I have. That's a, that is that you is like drive a car on it or something. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that's one of those ideas that's kind of been done a bunch. I thought about Kevin and I. We could do that one. Uh, my mom says no. <laughs> You're not allowed back at our, my mom's house. <laughs> Your mom was so nice, but I did feel wait, like okay, when I, I got left, one. She uh, kind of had some Harvey super sonic, <laughs> no. supersonic squirrel cannon, and that it oh, shoots yeah. it a shoots squirrel. a squirrel at supersonic speed in a it like. In a thing, because you kind of have to have a pointy nose with the aerodynamics. Squirrels, squirrels are pretty pointy. <laughs> okay. Pretty okay. Supersonic squirrel cannon. Yep. Or your tail's like a drag stabilizing. It is. Kind of. Yeah. We need another one. We need a competitor. Or are these like uh, just, just like real ideas video video ideas? No, if Mark has, or is yeah. Like if, a if, if, lab if we could, for, if like someone if holds a gun to Mark and you say, "Make one of these videos, or you die." Supersonic squirrel cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Supersonic squirrel. Yeah. Cannon. Yeah. yeah. 
I guess one idea that, I mean, just in general, I wanted to see happen. It's also like something supersonic. Uh, I just want to see if you can, how fast you can make a tungsten rod go. Well, yeah, of course he's going to pick that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going with tungsten Hell yeah. Rod. No, no, no. Nigel no. doesn't get the Lame. game. Oh. Yes, Nigel. Yeah, you did that. In each that. round, Nigel gets to make one suggestion. You did no, the guy no, no, okay. <laughs> wait, wait. But what about... Oh, wait, I got uh, it. I got it. Supersonic squirrel cannon or cooking meth with an easy bake oven. Uh, oh, or, that. Hey, wait, wait, wait. That's uh, a new crunch. How, yeah, because you can make that educational. How many Orbeez can a monkey eat? <laughs> how many I, I, Orbeez can a monkey okay, so eat? I don't know. Like, <laughs> that's a that's a really good question. <laughs> um, I like and, and which between that squirrel cannon? No, I would do the I would do the easy bake oven. Hamster. The, the cooking method and easy yeah. bake oven. Oh, oh yeah. cool. Yeah, okay. I feel, I mean, of course, I feel like that's easier. You're not actually harming another animal, so well, it feels wait, like and I like mean, the monkey really likes like Orbeez. Walter White did it. I could yeah. get away with it. I have one idea too. It, it you can choose out of. I, I have swear two to ideas. God, if it's a cool, good idea, Nigel, I'm gonna be so yeah. mad. No, it's my hamster ideas. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. either send a hamster to space, oh, okay. yeah, or cool. you freeze dry a hamster. Uh, yeah, I'm sending a friggin' hamster to space, but so without he, a protective you must yeah. freeze dry it up there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I put him in a nice little warm chamber, you know. Okay, no, freeze-dried hamster. That's it. <laughs> well, wait, you said hamster, you've been squirrel. He likes squirrels. Okay, freeze-dried squirrel. Yeah. Oh, that changes everything. Does it, wait, wasn't there, didn't like Tom Scott do a video on how like microwave ovens were invented to defrost like frozen yes. mice? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, like they actually figured out a way that you could freeze mm, and yeah. then like reanimate a small mammal and they used a microwave oven. And it worked? Yeah. yeah. And then, no the, yeah, yeah, that was, the, it wasn't invented for food. It was invented for reanimating frozen and mice. Well, they weren't like officially <laughs> dead is the thing. They were like in a catatonic state. And it also apparently doesn't scale like the, yeah. the whole inverse, like the, the volume to surface area thing. Like once you get bigger than a mouse, you really can't microwave them anymore and have it be good. Yeah. Because <laughs> then I think the hot spots become an issue where then you just cook <laughs> part before the other one. Someone's going to microwave Walt Disney. Isn't he like <laughs> cryogenically <laughs> frozen? It's just his head. <laughs> just throw I him think. on defrost for 20 minutes. <laughs> the mouse or the person? Person. The what is as my idea? Oh Mickey yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's it's a human <laughs> head that's frozen oh, somewhere in the in the middle of the castle of Disneyland. Like Futurama. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a question. Would you guys do the? Because you can get yourself cryogenically frozen now. Oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> only if they immediately <laughs> push me off the table onto the concrete floor. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, because it's like, who knows what technology will be in the future is like the philosophy. I, it, it, my intuition is like, it's just so where is that technology going to save you? I feel like I feel like the part of the technology that's not good is the cryogenically freezing part. I'm pretty sure that death is the only thing that keeps anything functioning in society. Yeah, it's yeah, like the one, I, the great barrier that nobody can pass. Yeah, if, if really rich people stop dying. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, Didn't they say yeah. that in the 60s? Yeah. It's been a lot of yeah, yeah. But like, like also the, like a lot of changes for these where it's like now we are unearthing like people who are frozen in the ice age and like we can learn a ton about them and potentially like it, it's, it's obviously not them, but we have their DNA to like do stuff with Realive them. Realive them? <laughs> yeah. Um, you might be able to like scan your brain in the future, like map out every atom inside of your brain and like, profit perfect, off of it. Perfectly <laughs> and 3D printed. Yeah. I mean, so would yeah. you. Imagine you pay all this money to be cryogenically oh, frozen and someone just uses it to like model an AI. <laughs> you know, but you know what? You don't like, even bring you back to life. You just become like a slave. A really to the high machine. fidelity I mean, now red voice for, for voiceover. <laughs> it's fully yeah. sentient. You, you know what? It I, sounds perfect. You know what I wonder now though with like your full digital footprint if they had like every text message you sent every second you stopped on any tiktok every mm. like thing every all your emails they how much think i was some sort of pervert yeah Wouldn't no that, it would work because TikTok they could recreate your brain me, like that lady who plays golf oh my god i love golf on. Girl, I and love it, it, obviously <laughs> that's not i'm not about that right no. so it's like clearly god. it doesn't it doesn't work. The algorithm is not yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't it. work. I hate it here. Very, I, clearly flawed. Like she yeah. never even hit the ball. 
super broken. Wait, you, you have to hit the ball in that's, golf? I didn't is, really this understand. This is why I deleted TikTok. I was like, this, this is like actually, this is horrible. My brain is, I'm being exploited and I don't like I it. And I deleted no, TikTok it. TikTok has some good stuff. Like I was showing him the, the SpongeBob songs. Which what? ones? Bangers. Just wait, all of them. The, sp- the AI Spongebob? Yeah, yeah, but people went oh, like oh, overboard right, and they yeah. made like... Spongebob trap remix songs. Yeah, they made like full productions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but then if like the, the data for someone in the future reconstructing you and they like watched, they looked at how many seconds you spent watching those videos to try and reconstruct your personality, like... It wouldn't be accurate. It would be accurate. No. It would be yeah. accurate. <laughs> TikTok has like trained me to, to avoid women because... <laughs> And, <laughs> and, that's and, a great listen, title. Listen, that's a great title. Because it's like it's like the opposite really effect, right? Because I just want to see like Indian dudes sand casting like bike rope, like right. you know or you, yeah. rims or something, or right? Like, and then it keeps showing me hot yeah. girls, and I'm like, okay, no, I know no, what you're saying. No. I know what you're saying. You have <laughs> you to know? like you have to defeat the algorithm, yes. yeah. otherwise yes. it like takes advantage of that like slight hesitation yeah. where your like monkey brain is like, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. and you're like, no. So now every no. time I see like a, a woman, a cute girl in an ad, I'm like, no. no. I remember it was, so Kevin. Kevin. It was like Kevin. two summers ago or something. Yeah. You, you were like, why does TikTok keep showing me like these hot moms? <laughs> no, no, okay, okay, okay. These hot okay. moms. <laughs> I was like, I don't get hot moms no, on no, mine. No, 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 let's, so. let's do the whole list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't just say one. It was hot moms, <laughs> Yeah. heavy machinery. <laughs> And like, wow. and like crippled people <laughs> and, I want it. and I was just like after, it was like no 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 this is what I know like, no no a very dark mirror in front no, of William like, <laughs> yeah it's like a guy with deformed legs and then like a, a like a cool machine and then like a woman just wearing an apron I like just I remember cookies. I just the, the one where I was like I'm done was this this woman who like was had half an arm and she like stuck it in a jar of peanut butter and I was like I don't want to be I'm deleting this app I I can't yeah, do this I've never anymore. seen that one. <laughs> wow. My TikTok's so different. From okay, let's do this to Stephanie. One. Pull yours out and let's look at your first 10 well, TikToks. Sure, yeah. it's going to be very Oh, shy. it's bold. Yeah. I felt, I felt I exploited, know. man. Yeah. I really Kevin, did. Kevin, you better hope it's heavy <laughs> let's machinery. See. Yeah. How much heavy <laughs> machinery you get? Okay. It's an ad. Okay. Thir- oh, skincare. skincare. <laughs> Kylie, Kylie Jenner. Jenner. Scan it. Oh, wait, wait. These are the moms who will try to be NPCs. Oh, that's oh, weird. The- I don't get moms as NPCs. Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Pixar character. Pilates. Pilates. Wow. Media. Where's the heavy this machinery? I, saw, was, I don't like. Where's the heavy machinery? Just, Kevin, this, the heavy machinery. This my, fa- my favorite David heavy David. machinery oh, yeah. video is the ones yeah. where they right, have like. Um, Thank you, Kevin. Let's go. Yeah, let's called? see. That, that giant hammer that hits the like the oh, red hot. Kevin yeah. is handing me his phone. Wow. Okay. Let's go Kevin's, through his DMs. Okay. Kevin's risky. All right. The first, first up is a crippled hot mom. What? <laughs> oh, Arduino project. Oh, Arduino. Okay. Uh, better, second, call better call Saul Al. or Al. It's a meme. Sydney Powell's lawyer whispering in her ear. Some uh, true crime stuff. A true crime, we'll call it. What breaking is bad. bad There's is a lot red. of breaking. Two breaking bad. Oh, ones, look though. a party. A party that feels a little memey. That's kind of funny. Uh, Adobe. Per- ad, ad, ad. Adobe. Oh, ad. <laughs> A cat driving a cat car. driving a car. Yes, I've defeated the yeah. Kevin, well done. Yeah. If it gets to a hot girl, leave it on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No. Play no, like twice. Wait, that's like, scary. No hard hit. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, he did. Oh. Don't there it is. Oh. There it is. Yeah. Track and field, the hundred meter dash. The women's hundred meter dash. Oh. No. Oh. no. Bookmarked, hard, and commented. <laughs> with- no! That's but You're welcome, oh. Kevin. What did you say? <laughs> I, I just did the emoji with the hearts around the head. <laughs> <laughs> and three of them. No! <laughs> wow. People are going to think. Wow, Kevin. Wow. <laughs> Nigel, let's see yours. Uh, you know, in a thousand years, someone's gonna use okay, that yeah, data yeah. point to reconstruct you, and you're gonna come out all wrong. You're gonna be, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be a pervert. Or exactly uh, right. This is my photo on my Discord. 
I know that term. Wow. <laughs> I yeah, you that one. bathroom's weird. Did you pee how in did, that bathroom? How does Kevin pee that far? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about this? Yes. <laughs> Can we talk about this? Okay. When you Kevin, pee in that wait, bathroom, you know it makes look like your pee is red. Yeah. I brought that up. Yeah. Because the problem is my bathroom at my office, we have red floors as well. Uh, and so Kevin. I went pee at my office and then I came <laughs> here and Are I thought my this? pee was red. Yes. <laughs> I was like, do I have a medical issue? It's the Crunch Labs bathroom he's talking about, by the way. I'm working on a series. Kevin, um, do you have a picture of you peeing in Mr. Beast's house? I do. <laughs> do you have a picture of you peeing in Mike Rover's house? Do. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a picture of you peeing in Justin Royan's house two weeks before he got canceled? Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. We didn't know yet. <laughs> But Kevin, you you you, you like the toilet app? Like how? What is in this? There's picture? something about oh, and Jimmy's bathroom. Jimmy's bathroom, yeah, yeah. What what exactly is oh. in the picture? Just the toilet? It's just the pee. It's the stream of pee going into the toilet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but in in like, one of them there was a little away. extra. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it gets really far away from the toilet, which is why if I ever whatever bathroom I build in my house is gonna be a wall very close <laughs> to the front of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> or like, uh, what, how could you make a toilet where you have to sit down to pee? Oh, wait, Alan, your toilet idea. Oh, yeah, the, the can't miss toilet. No, no, the toilet that the, enjoys the, being peed in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was one of the solutions is you make a toilet have AI oh, and a right. voice and it just begs you to pee in it. Okay, mouth, wait, wait. Let's go right? back to the Mark Rober has like, to choose a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Okay, would you rather make a video where the toilet <laughs> begs to be used? <laughs> <laughs> or, damn, we need a second idea. I don't know, uh, being squirted milk in the face because you cannot eat spicy food. Ooh, oh. yeah, a machine that squirts you in the Squirt face. Squirt milk milk. on your face. Wait, what? Yeah. I want to see that. A, a toilet that begs you to use it or a machine that squirts milk in your face? <laughs> okay, it's just <laughs> milk, <laughs> right? It's milk. <laughs> Just it's, milk. It's white. It's whole, whole milk. Whole milk. <laughs> oh, these are both bad. Yeah. <laughs> I really like milk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I don't. Right, yeah, over here. I like milk. I'm milk gonna choose gross. milk. Of course, I would choose that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, why? I don't definitely. Words, like so, they yeah. Yeah, I would. Your, yeah, your I like milk. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. How do you, how, you guys pee sitting down ever? All the uh, time, every time. Stephanie is a <laughs> yes. yes. So I, I, I have a bidet. So a couple of years ago, like beginning of, or end of 2019. <laughs> when did COVID start? 20, 2020. 2020. 2020 so we were supposed it's, to go, March 2020, we were supposed to go to Hawaii. I'm, I'm having a Who bad did? time. I, I was supposed to go oh, to Hawaii yeah, vacation. Yeah. We had booked our stay. We had booked the that's flights true. and everything. Yeah. And then the whole trip got canceled. And it was like, I think we had, everything was like $3,000 or something like that. Yeah. So instead, I, we took that money, all the refunds, and we, I bought a toilet, I bought a bidet. Yeah. And so sometimes... Wait, $3,000? Yeah. I bought a $3,000 toilet. That's not true. No, I did. How can you buy a toilet? They don't sell $3,000. Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. What does yours do more than mine? Yeah. It is. So it's a... Fully it screams that you just <laughs> sit on it. Please, sir, please pee in my mouth. I, I, honestly, Mark, I'm glad our vacation got canceled because that toilet has served me way more than a vacation would have. What? Mark Senpai. Oh Mark. Up. So what makes a what makes a toilet cost three thousand dollars oh is that it begs it begs me <laughs> to use it. Oh, Mark Sama. That's, that's not a big sense of my Japanese. It's uh it's an imported Toto. Uh, oh wow. Uh, bidet. It's a tankless bidet. It's a bidet. So yeah. what you're getting at is now you pee sitting it, down. Well, it depends if it's hot outside and oh like, yeah, that you is know, sometimes the heated seat yeah, between what? your thighs. Because I have a get Toto. A swampy. Yeah, I I've, will sit down and pee. Sometimes I don't even pee at all. I just. Absorbs into your yeah, body again. Sit and use the bidet. It's nice. Oh, I thought you were gonna say some. <laughs> yeah, I know, Like, what do you mean? Oh, so you splash What's... water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, you ever kind of when you're kind of sweaty yeah. and gross, mm -hmm. and you want to go in the shower, yeah, but you don't want to get in the you shower. Get sweat down yeah. your crack. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Deodorant or antiperspirant works anywhere. Swamp ass. Whoa. Do you actually try it? Does that work? It works great. Really? Really? Oh. Take it from Florida man life. It's a Florida man uh, life. Then, oh my god. We don't do that. It makes your farts smell good too. Huh? Does it make your farts smell good? Yeah, like Mountain Breeze. You <laughs> <laughs> keep from getting brown all over your deodorant stick. Uh, <laughs> I have a tech. You rub it on toilet paper. Oh, oh you know what? Well done, I, I feel like you learned this lesson. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, what's it, like OSHA no, stuff? Like, like rules are made with blood? Yeah. 
<laughs> but it smells good still. So. You're looking at the stick and like your the gears are turning in Dude, your head. Dude, like, I swear to God, your intrusive <laughs> thoughts are like actually off the hook because that's a hundred percent. You're like, I wonder if I put deodorant in my butt. You did that you immediately regretted it. <laughs> like I can build the entire Kevin out of my head. Why is this making my armpit smell worse now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> God. <laughs> well, I still don't get how your toilet's three thousand uh, dollars. I think it's just the import cost because it's from, there's a company in LA I bought it from, and they had cheaper ones. But this was also right at the beginning of the toilet paper thing, mm. and so all the cheap ones got bought out, which is uh, what I would have gotten, and that was basically what was left. What What would you say is the highest level function your toilet yeah. is capable of? I'm kind of with um, on this. It's <laughs> you, so you can it. get you can you can probably get like a mostly equivalent bidet, like the one that's in your guys' office mm-hmm. where it's the it attaches to the top, yeah. but it's tankless and so it's like super low profile looks super clean and it like it sits more naturally because the retrofit ones they kind of like they like stick up a bit on the back like they're not that great so the mm. extra 2000 <laughs> is for looks um no i mean it also like when yeah. you walk into the room it like for opens up to go. Uh, yeah it, it's the lid yeah. automatically oh, my, mine opens. does that though the oh, okay. seat is warm mine does that um it blows oh. air mine does blows that butt. Ooh. Yeah, Mine but, does all that. It, but it is, I guess, just a sleeker. Like does yours play yeah. music? Uh, no, you have to make the music yourself. Okay. Do Why? you <laughs> use the girl setting? I have pressed that button only once. <laughs> Why once? Because I wanted to see what would happen. What happened? My balls got wet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked to sit there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like getting in a shower without taking a shower. I really, honestly, yes. anybody who thinks a bidet is grosser than using toilet paper, you're wrong. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you want How two pieces grosser? of paper closer. You, you yeah, it's like if you get freaking like, no. poo on your arm, you're not just going to like wipe yeah, exactly. it with dry paper. Yeah, you're going to wash you're it You're going to wash the, the crud out of it. Bidet. Excellent investment. You don't have to yes. buy a stupid expensive one. They're they're much cheaper now and, and in stock. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. much was yours? In Canadian, I think a thousand. Whoa. Well, wow, that's like that was just the toilet. <laughs> yeah. The whole just, thing or just the it's attachment? Just the to- it's just the attachment. Oh, so you still have to sense. buy the toilet, which is a couple hundred bucks too. Well, I mean, I already had the toilet. Yeah. So yeah. just the attachment was a thousand. Man, you got a you got a, f- a fancy Good. Does for just the attachment one? Does everything yours does. Oh. No, 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 but just, but I've never, that's like, was it Toto? Yeah, I think it's the, okay. one of the highest level ones. Yeah. That's why I was wondering, I'm like, where does the extra No, it's go? it's yeah. like, it's a tankless toilet. So like it has a flat valve. It's like electronic and stuff. And so like it flushes really well. I was going to say, because really when I was researching yeah. it, I yes. see all, the, I saw like the, the pictures on the website. I think it's like diagrams of how the water it's moves. It's super low water use because yeah. it doesn't have to, it, like it doesn't have to build momentum. It literally opens oh, a valve. How does, and how does it, that work? Yeah. A tankless one. Uh, it uses the water pressure from the house. It uses no, no, no. It, it the flap, so it doesn't have to do the whole siphon thing as aggressively. Mm. It just it opens a valve. So the reason the water doesn't drain out of the toilet is because there's a big flap, mm. like inside the toilet. Oh, at the bottom, at the it, on the inside, like the, right before it goes into the the drain. The drain. Oh, and so okay. it opens, and then now all of a sudden the bowl mass just like immediately plunges down oh. instead of having to fill up. To plunge down, gotcha, mm. and then it just like puts a little bit of water. So I think it like probably uses like half the water of a normal flush or even less. Interesting. So I probably the water's cheap though, so I probably haven't saved any money on that. Cool, cool shit. I would buy it again. That was a great toilet. I like my <laughs> toilet. I like it a lot. Yeah, because the goes. upper end ones are like three hundred bucks. I mean, upper end like three hundred bucks gives you most of the features you guys talked about. But your yeah, you, to your you point, can, is- you can get it for like I think I saw there's a cheaper one. It was like it was like bio bidet or something like that was the cheaper ones, mm-hmm. and they're like a thousand or. I have an 15. attachment that was maybe thirty dollars. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I we have one as of those as well in the other toilet yeah. and like i it's you don't, you don't, it, yeah. hey, like it gets the job done, gets the job Wait, done. are you talking about the one that's just like the thing you clean your dishes with because like that's yeah. a sponge no there's ones like there's places <clears throat> not in canada i haven't seen but when i travel there's places that it's like it's like the the thing you pull out when you're cleaning no, your dishes no, 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 no. No. that actually works good yeah yeah I, mean, I actually kind of like it. you stick it up your butt no no it's just that like the french way wait 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 nigel that that brush that's like no not a brush it's a spray <laughs> oh, okay i was like dude that's for cleaning the skin marks what are you doing what are you he's like yeah they have this like the rubber cup thing that helps pull the poop out of your <laughs> no, it's just, it's just like a really cheap bidet well that's the old yeah. school the french ones i think yeah yeah yeah. i mean school. it's it's like nothing, no technology. You just literally yeah. connect the hose. Have so you guys ever seen there's nothing. There's the, like, the German ones? one for traveling. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really... That's, Kevin, the that's Kevin's... That's Kevin's... Excuse it? Oh. No, it is like electronic and it's just like... 
full up a thing and then dude just, you should wait yeah it's that's true. a <laughs> kevin you have you put it on the toilet or you no no you bring it with you the water pick goes through your butt too so you have like a water bottle but it's your bidet i should do that because i really hate toilet paper it just doesn't get the job done great yeah but someone made a tiktok of all the brands and they rated them which one was best? Toto was second best, actually. Okay. Well, yeah, there was another one. I saved it. I can send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. You're just trusting some random TikTok. No, she, like... she put peanut butter on her arm and she was testing them with peanut butter. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. but is yeah. peanut butter <laughs> a best good one. analog? Yeah. The best, best you one. You need to add hair like into this. that mix. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think it was good. So, I was going to say two things, two inventions. Okay. Yeah. One. Two more inventions? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. One Stop is is, is a dual purpose water pick and <laughs> butt cleaner okay. for portable. Same nozzle or different? Like it's up to the right user. Yeah. And the other one was a bidet with a camera so you can oh. accurately clean. Oh, and a joystick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, wait, so two so joysticks. <laughs> and wait, foot pedals. And you see it on your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you, you can like phone? attack. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, having oh and you can also quickly record and wait, shit footage. Wait, 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 wait. Live, live stream wait. it. Yeah, let chat control <laughs> your bidet. <laughs> they can clean your butt for you. I It'll never be clean. I would love to be able to do that video. You God, AI to like change it into like meteors, and like you got to shoot the meteors. <laughs> oh my God! Like, Isn't we? Oh my God! Isn't there like an educational <laughs> loophole? Wasn't there a guy who nared his butt on YouTube? Oh yeah, it's education. Oh, yeah. So if it's educational, could you actually do that? <laughs> It's educating. We're teaching them how to program. <laughs> okay, Mark. Yeah. Yes. Would you rather build the supersonic scroll cannon yeah. or the uh, first person shooter bidet? <laughs> Having just operated heavy machinery and excavator today, just how how powerful I felt, like yeah. moving yeah. and aiming, and yeah, for sure the bidet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That just felt amazing. It's like you have the big Ender's Game reveal with Twitch chat too. They see your zero yeah. asshole the entire time. The algorithm breaks and like all the the, the, the real sprites. image breaks through. You know, be even better. You don't. You all you do is put sprites over everything, and and like the, you know, sometimes when you're watching oh, it, like no. the like the it won't render the frame properly, and so like the sprites will just disappear for a frame. And go back. The Ender's Game, but for your butthole. Like you know, people oh try to God, blur stuff, amazing. and like the blur will disappear for like a section of the video and then it comes yeah, yeah. back and it's like okay <laughs> i really like that yeah. i i want someone to do that <laughs> this was a good brainstorming session yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's pretty atypical for my kind of brainstorming session and i like it we're like, all kind of atypical I think the, yeah yeah it seems like a like a stuff made here kind of video he's the only one smart enough to do something like this <laughs> <laughs> he is uh do you have his phone number yeah, of you course. should text him this right now. Can you uh, call him right now? Yeah. Got an idea. I I will say you guys are delightful to hang out with. I <laughs> I was you. telling the other people. Um, yeah, film. It's a, like there's a, just a level of like, uh, it's like Deranged. no, what's it's like, um, disrespect. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did I call it? What I did? I just did like an MIT thing. I freaking I should know what commencement? I commencement. Yeah, no, I know the commencement, but I told him. Hold on a second. We're all a bunch of very smart uh, people. Hang out. No, it's uh, it's oh, like no. play the playful anarchy. That's what uh, you guys uh, imbue playful anarchy, where it's like uh, it's fun. You guys are just chill, but it's like irreverent. But you're also actually really skilled at what you're doing. So like hanging out, and when something comes up, oh, what should you do with this car? It's like everyone has a hundred ideas, and they like, actually could work, and it's just kind of fun. Blow um, the car up. Yeah, and you guys are all just super chill too. So I really do enjoy hanging out. That's a great note to end this podcast. Yeah. Leave some like a nice flavor yeah. in everyone's <laughs> mouth. Really, I just I just want to go to bed and have them leave my house. So I figured that's I needed to feed 11 that p.m. Out. right now. It is yeah. literally eleven. You don't want to do the hot tub? PM. The hot tub extra? I thought yeah. we were gonna do a hot tub. <laughs> Thank you to Crunchlast for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> oh Mark, you have a lot of money. Mark has, Mark has slightly less money now. <laughs> You have a lot of blue. money, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks everybody on Patreon. I hope the names already went by. All right, the names are already gone. Yeah. What about this one? Are we still doing that? <laughs> I mean, maybe they just. I'm, yeah. I'm this is this is a special episode. Under Mark's hat. Whoa! <laughs> went right under the hat. Gone. Wow. Anything you want to promote to thirteen people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just um, no. I don't have anything to promote. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you for watching the podcast. Watching the podcast? Yeah. Go buy Crunch Labs for someone you love in your life. Yeah. 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 Then go buy Prime Energy. For someone you hate. For someone you hate. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to feel awake and gross at the same time, yeah. then if you want to you to feel like you just brush you. your teeth and then drink orange juice, go by Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>